guys, we're going to crash course into this. Normally, I have an hour and a half to teach uh, people to do this. Um, so my goal is to get you shooting as fast as possible. All right. Everybody spread out just a little bit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, good. Go, go, go. Limited time. Got it. All right, keep together on the very side. So from here, we're talking about the stance first. We need the base of this shot. So right leg is going to slide halfway back. So my foot slides halfway back. Then it steps shoulder width. Come back. Okay. Halfway back. And then shoulder width. One more time. Together, halfway back, shoulder width. Through this position, my back leg is like a side kick. All right, I'm driving through that heel straight down. Next, I'm going to hold my left hand up. My left hand is going to hold the bow. And when I grip the bow, the bow is going to sit on the palm of my thumb. All right? Three fingers to hold nice and tight. My key finger, my index finger is going to be my assistant. It's going to help me with the arrow. All right? Here, right hand, letter B, sign language. All right? My thumb is going to go underneath the arrow around the string. And my index finger is going to make my fist right here on top of my thumb. Okay, so let's go through the whole process. Feet together, halfway back, shoulder width. Left hand's holding the bow, right hand, letter B. Make your fist, elbow up, and we draw back. At this place, I release the back hand, and my arm falls backwards. Okay, not fast. Just slowly fall back. Tension. Okay. Halfway. Shoulder width. Left hand. Right hand. Make your fist. Draw. Release. Okay. One more time. Halfway. Shoulder width. Left hand. Right hand. Elbow. Draw. Release. When we talk about the action of drawing the bow. My left hand is pushing the mountain forward. My right hand is pulling the tiger's tail backwards, okay? Then the next part of this is after the shot happens, the follow through, the release happens, okay? When this happens, say so talk about the tiger pouncing. So the tiger pounces, boom, he'll just relax afterwards immediately. He pounces, make sure everything's okay, and then it slowly, his tail slowly falls down. So my arm has to do the same thing here release and then it's going to slowly expand through i'm not going to get into a lot of details I just want to get you guys shooting but what happens i'm expanding through my back one more thing is you're wearing a dobok right now so it's kind of like an arm guard so you don't slap your arm but i need my elbow to be out if you extend and push through your arm here the string's going to come forward and hit your arm okay so my elbow is out in this position the bow hand is twisting this way, okay? My right hand is gonna be twisting against, they're gonna be opposite each other, okay? All right, so we're gonna shoot. When you come up to the line, let's slide back just a little bit forward, please. So this is gonna be the line. When you come to the line, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our toes on the line. I'm gonna step halfway back, shoulder width. My left hand is gonna be on the bow, holding it, my index finger, my helper finger is gonna hold that arrow so I can knock it onto the bow. Once I get it onto the bow, it's gonna click, all right? My left hand, or my right hand, excuse me, is gonna make the finger underneath, I make my B, I make my fist. Here, this finger, at this point in time, is gonna let go, all right? So I'm not gonna hold the arrow anymore. From this position, I draw back, my bow is always pointing at the target. Here, I release, and my arm stays back here all the way until that arrow hits the target, which is gonna happen pretty fast, all right? Okay, um, you guys aren't worried about instructing, we're just worried about shooting at this point in time. So I need three people on the line. Okay. All right, so when I'm teaching archery and it's first timers, then the way we're going to work it is we're going to work all the way down and everybody's going to shoot one arrow, okay? Because I can't watch you all shoot at once if you're all shooting one. So here we go. Nate, stand first. 
Good. All right. Good. Yeah. Put that arrow on there. You need those. They have a little shelf right here, so you can either put it on the shelf or you can put it right there. Okay. Good. Now use that finger to help you hold it. Good. Yeah. Good. Nice. Now see how you brought your finger over. I want that finger on the outside of the arrow. Good. There you go. Draw. Good. Nice job, sir. Okay. All right, so our goal is to hit the target, number one, right? But our first goal as archery students is to make a grouping, okay? So a grouping, if we had hay bales here and all these arrows came over and hit in the same spot, then that would be a nice tight grouping. Until you have a grouping, you can't aim the bow, all right? You can be lucky and hit the bullseye, but at this point in time, if your arrows are hitting all over the place, then there's no way for you to aim the bow. I really just need you to understand the process of shooting and then we can start grouping things together. All right, pass those bows back. Thanks, sir. What am I going to do with this by itself? You don't care. I'm going to take a little bit. Just about one of the bunny Great Western shot. Some around the train. You know what happened? You were scared to pull the tiger's tail. So can I come back up here? No. Grab it like you're supposed to. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Pull, 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 pull. Nice job. Nice job. All right. Now, Ari, in your case, it's my hair. Mm -hmm. 
So you don't have as much area. Not, uh, no, Simple Instead of going like fighting stance, I want you to be more like 45. There you go. And point that to this toe. There you go. So thumb green. Nice shot. All right, now we're just done. And then make it this and that's it. So toe on the line, half of back. Good, bigger. You're right on. Are you there? There you go. Get the fist on the outside of the arrow. So you're not, yep, fingers. There you go. You're nothing above it. Practice. Don't pitch it. Don't worry me. There you go. Relax. First time for everything. So not as much back stance, more like a shortened type of front stance. So you need to aim low. 
Back up again. All right, good. Yeah. I just wanted to. Okay, I didn't. I didn't want to get shot. <laughs> I was <wanted> to. <laughs> I'm waiting for uh, a still good run back and forth. Yeah, yeah, that's the moving target, right? Um, we have everybody shot. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 Uh, similar sizes in my rows. Okay, so if we can make three rows of similar sized people, how about that? Make that happen. Yes, sir. Uh. All right, so. In general, safety wise, as we're doing this, so we've gone from one shot to now I'm letting you be in charge of your three shots. Okay? Yes, sir. I need you to be cognizant of what's going on with your bow at all times. Yes, sir. So, does anybody know what dry firing is? Yes, sir. So, dry firing means I pull my bow back without an arrow on it and I let it go. Boom. All right. These bows are good because they're not going to break and shatter like a fiberglass bow, but we still don't want to mistreat them that way. All right. Yes, sir. Number two. If you're drawing back and something happens to that arrow, you have to be able to let it back down. Okay? And so you have to be in control of it at all times. Yes, sir. Number three, the arrow is either pointing at the ground or the target. All right? This, I don't need this in here because I'm not trying to shoot through the ceiling. All right? You will bust the ceiling tiles or light that way. Don't do that. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Next, uh, for all intents and purposes right now, we're going to set the arrows beside ourselves. But if I come up here and I get ready to shoot. And I'm trying to put my arrow on and my arrow falls off my bow. I'm not going to reach for it. That arrow is gone. Okay. Because that means that I have to cross the line and there's other people shooting. Other than that, I might bump someone else who's shooting with my bow. So I need you to stay right here. And that is my lost chance. Okay. So just a couple safety rules as we go forward with this. All right. Three arrows. Okay. Three arrows and three arrows. So the first command you're going to hear, once you get here to the line, we're going to put our toes on the line and say, knock your first arrow. All right. Knock your first arrow. Third. Get your stance set. Good. Now, once you're ready, then we'll shoot. Okay. You guys can shoot. Now, try to hit the same spot all three times. Good. All right. So now set your bow down Sir. and go collect your ass. Sir. Sir. Go on and knock it. Get your stance set. You guys are ready. Start taking shots. I'm 
I actually could. I have it in my car. I don't know I don't want to. Oh, yes, sir. Is that the Get your stands. You ready? I'm pinching that water. Go underneath. There you go. Yeah, and then your finger on the outside. Last one. 
got two more slots. You guys want to do? I don't know. All right. So first arrows, one and knock them. Okay. Fire when ready. Focus on that breath. So do those down and grab some arrows. Sir. Sure. Sure. Got it. Thanks, sir. So, real quick, yes, sir. When you talk to your notch, mm -hmm. are you you starting your inhale there, or inhale and then when you you're exhaling as you're as you're drawing back? Exhaling or? as I'm drawing back. Exactly right. Okay. Yeah. So the I get set up right. Then I'm moving into position. I'm inhaling, exhaling, okay. and then I choose one of those drop down. Okay. Um, so the goal being that we're shooting straight forward at this point in time, uh, close distance. All right. And so when we teach, we teach at 10 yards starting out from here, we start to move. So the idea that Dojinim wants is that the first is understanding the shot. The second is your body moving. So then the next we work from the knee. Okay. Then we start working towards moving our body forward and back. All right. So from this position, I go forward and I draw back into that back placement and then shoot. All right. The next step from here, I'm in my stance now facing the opposite way and I'm working the pivot into the draw and then shoot. All right. So I'm continuing to build onto the program. Then we move towards motion across and shooting. And so everything just continues to build. Thank you guys. Thank Sorry, you. Sir. Thank you. How about a hammer for sport?